On this Thanksgiving day at Texas Stadium, the path to the Super Bowl for these two outstanding teams is an icy one. The winter storm warning means it's happening. Mm -hmm. We're talking about big ice pellets here coming down. You As wake up in the morning and there's snow in Dallas? What? I called my mother on the phone and said, Mom, guess what? You know, we're going to be playing in, in ice. Then all of a sudden you come down to, through that tunnel and you see this white sheet of snow slash sleet all over the field. You're like, what is this? <laughs> Thanksgiving Day, everybody in America sitting at home watching the Dallas Cowboys. More than 38 million Americans, in fact, making the 1993 Thanksgiving showdown between Miami and Dallas the most watched regular season game in 20 years. What all those fans got wasn't a demonstration of great football, but instead, 60 minutes of pratfalls. Oh my! Line drive right to Everett. Special teams could decide this game. The Dolphins struck first. Running back Keith Byers navigating the slush for a 77 yard touchdown, celebrating by making a snow angel in the end zone. The Cowboys answered with Kevin Williams, gliding to the two other touchdowns in the game. We finally took the lead. But then Miami got the ball back with some time left on the clock. Fortunately, we, we did stop them, put them in a position where they had to kick a field goal. My biggest concern was just making sure that uh, I, would, I wouldn't slip. This is what's crazy about football and the way coaches are. Leon Lett was really tall. So Coach Avizano decided that he needed to be on the field goal block team. Normally he wasn't on the field goal team, but in that particular situation, we needed a block. The main thing is on a field goal or a punt team, you only want to hear one thud. Balls get snapped back, the kicker goes up to kick it. Boom, boom. You hear the thud from the kicker's foot, but you also hear the hand. Bah. So immediately you turn around and you try and find the ball. Knowing as we're running the ball, oh my God, we're done. It's now our ball. All we have to do is get away. The rules stipulate that the team that blocks a kick has possession, but if it touches the ball again, then it's back in play. And then, all of a sudden, here comes Leon. It was a block earlier, and I think Thomas Everett picked it up and returned it. And so, for whatever reason in my mind, I thought, man, you know, it's a live ball, I gotta get back here and make a play on it. And when I saw the ball, you know, I continuously started yelling Peter, which was normal for us. Peter means get away. Get away, stay away from the ball. Run the opposite direction. Obviously, I shouldn't have even been nowhere near it, of course, but uh, even if I had to recover it, it was still terrible. It's Leon Lett! No! Oh, no. No, no! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! So now it's just a mad scramble to get the ball, and I'm thinking, are you kidding me? We may get new life here. This, this is stunning. I don't know, I just lost it, you know, just kind of, uh, had a, I guess, a, a brain freeze, as you can say. Miami lineman Jeff Dellenbach jumped on the ball and recovered it at the one yard line, giving the Dolphins the ultimate Thanksgiving present. It's good, and the Dolphins win the ball game. Yes! The After they made it, I was like, just broke into the locker room and tried to get away from everything. You could not find Leon anywhere in that locker room. I just kind of went back in the training room in Texas Stadium, which was, you know, a small, small locker room at the time. And I could just hear guys, you know, just going off and how upset they were. Helmets were, were flying. Great grouping, all that. We got to win ball games, period. Ended up finding out where he was after the fact. You know, tears in his eyes, felt like he let us all down, man. That was, you know, it was hard. It was hard to see him like that. I was upset, you know, truly upset. I couldn't believe I had just blew the game for the team. It was one of those deals that uh, I had to sit there and take it. It's no different than a turnover or an interception. It's a mistake. We all make them, and that's part of this game. After that game, a fan writes a letter to Leon. The letter from this, this little girl that says that, uh, don't worry about it, everybody makes mistakes. Don't worry, Leon. Everybody makes mistakes. There was a guy last year in the Super Bowl was scoring a touchdown and fumbles into the end zone. It happened to be the same guy. It was Leon. Two plays definitely overshadow how much he meant to that organization. He was about 6'6", unbelievably cat quick off the ball. 
Leon Lett would overcome his snow-induced Thanksgiving brain freeze. After the loss to Miami, he helped power the Cowboys to victory in eight consecutive games, including Super Bowl 28. Cowboys back to back in that hey. That was when I felt all the pressure was over. After we won that Super Bowl, I felt like, okay, now I can breathe again.